What's good everybody, it's your boy Eddie and welcome back to the channel and I hope you all are having a wonderful day. And for today's video, we have a very awesome sneaker that I am excited to be reviewing guys. But before we even continue, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below as well as that notification bell. And what we got right here is the rare, limited Joe Fresh Goods and New Balance 1000 collaboration in the pink mint colorway. Guys, definitely let me know what you think about this sneaker in the comment section down below. Is it a cop or drop to y'all? I definitely wanna hear y'all thoughts. But I have to say from my first impressions, at first I was extremely excited about these sneakers, but after getting them in hand, they aren't as crazy as I expected them to be. Maybe the black ice pair when it comes in tomorrow may be something that I would like a little bit more. But with this pink mint colorway, I am not too crazy about it. So with that being said, guys, let's just briefly go into the box details because I love the box details on this box. So what we actually got right here is an all chrome New Balance box. And I have to say that it looks absolutely awesome and definitely screams out a premium luxury vibe. And then when you actually look at the top of the lid right here, you can see that it does have that standard New Balance logo. Then when you go onto this side of the box, now you can see that it does say JFG, which stands for Joe Fresh Goods, of course, but it does have this awesome looking retro star and i really love that detail and definitely brings me back in time which i think is the whole purpose about this sneaker then when going on to this side of the box you can see the sticker tag right there as well as some more new balance and joe fresh good details and it does read off as joe fresh goods and new balance 1000 then when it comes to sizing I did go with my true to size of a size eight. And if you actually look up the New Balance 1000 online, there's a lot of different or mixed signals about the sizing of the shoe. Personally, for me with my true to size, I don't think it's actually too bad at all. I am semi wide footed, so that's something to take into consideration. But I do believe that if you were more narrow footed, you can get away with a half size down on this sneaker. And if you are wide footed, I would personally recommend to go true to size because honestly, there is a little bit of space, not really that much at all, though I would probably say it's about this much space so it's not really a big deal to me that half size down is more than this little space that i feel on the true to size so i think that it would be a more uncomfortable ride on this shoe then when we open this box lid right here you can see that we do have this airbrush logo right here that does say new balance and joe fresh goods i truly love this detail because it does bring me back to the middle to late 2000s and of course i was only 10 years old in 2006 but i was old enough to go to some parties back in 2008 2009 kid parties of course but it was a good time, it was a good vibe. I'm pretty sure that the adults around this time was actually able to enjoy themselves way more than us kids, but this was still a really great time for me, a great time for music, just an awesome time for vibes. Now when going onto the inside of the box right here, you can see that we do have this white wax tissue paper and it does say Joe Fresh Goods. It has a 1000 logo and the New Balance logo. And with that being said, guys, that's pretty much all of the details inside this box. So now let's just focus onto the history of the shoe. And what I love about the history of this specific shoe and just Joe Fresh Goods period is the fact that he always finds a way to make it relatable, especially if you grew up in the hood. All of his sneaker releases is absolutely relatable and is just awesome. So when looking at the history of the shoe, of course, from Joe Freshka's perspective, the colorway and inspiration behind this whole entire shoe is the house parties that Joe Freshka's used to go to, specifically the juke, also known as footwork house parties that used to be in the basement. And this is a genre of music that is known as ghetto house music. However, something to note is the fact that there used to be a lot of dance competitions and dance offs in these house parties. So it definitely makes sense why Joe Fresh Goods calls this pack the When Things Were Pure pack, because when you actually look at things from the past from a nostalgic lens, it definitely feels like things were way more pure. And most of the time they actually were, because I remember when I started going to parties at my age, you know what I'm saying? It was absolutely amazing. People were getting light. That was the type of music that we were doing in the 2010s. Also, we were dubbing and whining and dancing and all that type of stuff to dance all music. If you guys are from New York City, Brooklyn specifically, y'all know what I'm talking about. So I don't even got to get into that that much. So definitely, I can absolutely relate to why Joe Fresh Goods calls this the When Things Were Pure Pack. And the storytelling behind this whole collaboration is absolutely awesome, in my opinion. I'm looking at this from a New Balance perspective. The New Balance 1000 actually came out back in 1999. This was around the time of Y2K, if you guys are not familiar with that. That was when a lot of things were going crazy crazy because the clocks weren't ready to go from 1999 to 2000 and it was just a whole technological affair and people thought the world was going to end. It was a whole crazy thing going on. So during that time, New Balance decided to put out a silhouette that looked absolutely crazy. It was not normal. It wasn't the standard. But what I do have to say is they kind of jacked the style of the Nike Air Max 97 as well as the Air Max 95. What I see from an Air Max 97 perspective on the silhouette is these kind of metallic panels that wrap around the shoe, similar to the 97. And then when looking at the midsole of the shoe, especially the shape of it, to me, this 100% 
100% reminds me of the midsole of the Air Max 95. Definitely let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section down below, but that is my personal opinion on that. And with that being said, guys, that's pretty much going to conclude all the history of the shoe. So now when focusing on to the details of the sneaker, you can see that we do have this mesh toe box right here with a lot of perforated holes. Then when looking at the mud guard, you can see that we have some more synthetic leather right there. But what's really interesting to note is the fact that we do have a 3M detail right here in this pink colorway. And then on the left side of that, we do have this stitched pink detail right there, which looks pretty cool. Then when going towards the top of the shoe now, you can see that we do have this detail that goes from the middle of this toe box all the way to the top of the tongue tag. And it actually has this unique pattern in this pink colorway in between the leather panels that actually separates it and it is a pretty cool detail then when looking at the eyelets of the shoe you can see that we have more of that nice pink details and it goes all the way up to the top of the shoe then when also looking at the laces we do have the standard sail and pink laces or i'm not even sure what color this is it's kind of like a light brown so we do have it in a light brown and a pink detail and then we have a significantly darker pink detail that matches the color of the shoe with some light brown spots as well. Then when going on to the top of the shoe now, you can see that we do have that New Balance logo right there and it does say New Balance 1000 and it does have these flame logos on it, which looks absolutely awesome and does make the shoe pop. Now I'm focusing onto the lateral side of the shoe. You can see that we do have this Joe Freshka's logo right here in this white detail. And then surrounding that, we do have this pink metallic colorway, which looks awesome. And again, reminds me of the Air Max 97. Then when focusing onto this New Balance logo right here, you can see that we have that N logo, but it's in case in this plastic and then when going into the back of the shoe now you can see that we do have another 3m hit right here which makes the shoe pop and then when going into the back heel area of the shoe now you can see that we have a lot of logos right there so we do have the joe freshka's logo we have the new balance logo we also have the 1000 logo right there and then finally at the bottom we do have that absorb logo which i'll focus later into the video now i'm focusing on to the medial side of the shoe guys you can see that the same thing pretty much follows suit so there's nothing to report on there now i'm focusing on to the midsole of this awesome shoe guys i have to say it absolutely reminds me of the Air Max 95, just with a New Balance touch to it. But I have to say this Absorb midsole is super soft, super comfortable, very foam-like feel, man. And it is in this kind of light brown or tan colorway. Then when going onto the medial side of that midsole, you can see that we do have that small end logo right there. And as I mentioned earlier in that back heel area, we do have that Absorb detail. And this is a very soft and very cushiony foam midsole. Then when going on to the outsole of the shoe, you can see that we do have that New Balance 1000 traction pattern on it. And it does come in many different colorways. So we do have the gum detail, which is very important and makes the shoe very grippy. Then we have those kind of pink details, which matches the shoe. And then of course, we do have those tan details, which matches the midsole itself. Something else that I wanna to mention to you guys is the fact that the two lateral sides of the shoe actually have different logos on it. So as I mentioned on the right shoe, we do have that Joe Freshka's logo, but on the left shoe, we do have that 1000 logo right there which is a pretty nice touch and one more thing that i want to show you guys before i conclude this review is the fact that we do have two alternative insoles which i really love on the shoe on the left insole you can see that we do have the screen printed flame logo which looks absolutely awesome and right below it we do have the new balance logo and then on the right insole you can see that we do have that same screen printed flame logo however we do have that nice joe freshers logo right there and with that being said guys that's pretty much going to include all the history as well as the details of the shoe so now let's get right into the song for look guy. Y'all, so that's gonna conclude the reviews while well the awful look, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it for y'all. Definitely let me know what you think about the Joe Fresh Goods and New Balance 1000 collaboration in this pink mint colorway. Are you guys rocking with this colorway more, or are you rocking with the black ice colorway? Right now, I might have to say that I'll give the black ice colorway the edge because it just has some better metallic details and maybe more wearable for me personally. So that's why I think I would like it more. But I wanna hear y'all thoughts in the comment section down below. So other than that, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family and all that. Y'all already know the rest, and I'll catch y'all in the next video, guys. Peace.